Hi viewers, I am Nadim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome to the Faruqi Academy. Today we will discuss chapter number seven, exercise seven I, book D one, algebraic equations and simple inequalities. Question number one. A copy and filling the blanks with less than equal or greater than to mark each of the following statements true or false. Okay, in a part, uh, first of all we should uh, familiar to these signs that is less than sign, that is equality sign and greater than sign. This arrow mark should be noted here. Uh, the this arrow tip shows lesser quantities. If I write that three, then so how can I read it? Three less than seven. If I read uh, write as uh, like this, then it means three is greater than seven. The the condition may be so on. So the this arrow tips mean lesser quantity. So it means uh, these are the few uh, important tips to be noted here. Now in a part uh, nine dash three. So definitely everyone knows. 9 is greater so you should write 9 is greater than 3 so that is your answer similarly in B part uh, 7 dash 13 so 7 is less than 13 so it means uh, it is very much clear that 7 is always less lesser quantity than 13 so that is your result now in C part uh, minus 3 dash 2 what does that mean it means that minus quantity is always uh, lesser quantity because minus 3 is always less than 2 so uh, similarly in uh, d part uh, 3 square dash 9 so you know that uh, 3 means 3 3 are 9 so both are equal so you can put here uh, the equality sign so 9 equal to 9 so that is your uh, result now coming to the uh, next e part in e part uh, minus 4 dash minus 2 so it means minus 4 is always less than minus 2 because uh, the greater value from minus 2 is minus 1 so it means lesser quantity from minus 2 you will get minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 it should be noted that here is your basic uh, chart you should memorize it for example here is plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 like this but here is below 0 you will find minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 and so on similarly and so on so this is the basic conditionary line so with the help of this you can understand that uh, greater value from 0 you should go at this side so lesser value from 0 you should go at left side so it means uh, you can understand it how we judge that minus 4 is lesser quantity than minus 2 due to this simple chart now coming to the uh, F part any term multiply with 0 is, is also equal to 0 for example this is the question number f so 0 multiply by 6 you will get 0 so 0 so it means both are equal so you should put here equality sign similarly in g part uh, 0.4 square 0 0.2 what does that mean so it means 0.2 and point uh, 4 square mean 4 fours are 16 so you will get uh, uh, point uh, 16 point 4 multiply by point 4 you will get uh, point 16 you should write here point 16 what does that mean point 16 is uh, uh, greater quantity uh, than uh, point 0 2 so you should put a sign here uh, that is uh, equal to uh, yeah, that is that one is less so point 2 because a first digit is uh, 0.16 and here first digit is 0.2 so it means 
uh, 2 starting from 2 if I say that if there is no any other digit so it means definitely uh, here uh, 0 so it means point 20 always greater than point 16 so it means you should write as point 16 is less than point 2 uh, so that is your uh, required result uh, once again I would like to repeat that point 16 is always less than point 2 because here 2 means point 20 because there is nothing it means 0, zero you should uh, consider it here so a point 20 is always greater than point 16 so that is the reason so here is your result now uh, coming to the edge part you see here in edge part uh, the given question that is minus 5 square dash minus 4 square so power is even it means uh, 4 4 are 16 and negative sign will be removed because due to power is even here uh, 5 5 are 25 and again even due to even integer even exponent negative sign removed so definitely it is very much clear that 25 is greater than 16 so that is your result now similarly uh, in i part 0 0.5 square that is your minus mm, dash 0 0.4 square having minus so how can we just so e due to even negative sign is removed here you will get 0.16 and here 0.25 so uh, it is very much clear which quantity is greater 0.25 is greater than so you should put a sign greater value sign similarly uh, in j part that is under root 6 uh, is equal to uh, uh, that is uh, 8 so we have to fill this space how can we judge uh, it should be remember that under root 8 and under root 6 whenever you find any quantity in under root that quantity which quantity is uh, in uh, greater value it should also be always greater that is if someone says that uh, which quantity is greater so point 8 is greater than uh, here 8 is greater than 6 so it means uh, you can write as uh, under root 8 is greater than under root 6 or under root 6 is lesser than under root 8 so that is your answer so it is a particular case but in case if you have been given that under root 3 which quantity is uh, greater than uh, so definitely 5 is greater from uh, 3 so you should write as uh, that is uh, under root 5 is greater than under root 3 so uh, this case is uh, for all mathematical uh, uh, calculations so it is valid so this is a very typical point that it should be noted whenever you find both are in under roots so greater value having greater uh, uh, amount so it means uh, under root 8 is greater than 6 similarly now coming to the uh, k part in k part uh, you should write that is that is 0 0.6 under root uh, 0 0.8 under root so I have already told you that in under root cases whenever you find a greater quantity 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.6 definitely uh, this quantity is greater than 0 0.6 because it is a universal formula whenever you find greater quantity in under root both the quantities are in, uh, in under root so it means 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.6 so here is your result now coming to the mm, uh, i part that is 3 multiplied by 0 then uh, minus 24 multiplied by 0 we are well familiar to this fact 0 multiplied with any term you will get a 0 again 0 so both are equal similarly uh, m part uh, next part is your m part in m 0.3 square is equal to 0 0.3 square so it means here negative sign is removed because exponent power is even so
so you will get 0.9 here also you will get 0.9 so both are equal so that's why you can say that uh, which uh, sign you should put here so the equality sign because it seem to be both are equal 0 0.3 0 0.3 having square square it means uh, equality sign you can put here so uh, now coming to the uh, end part in end part uh, that is 0 0.2 whole square and 0 0.2 whole cube so you remove it it means 0 0.4 and here is 0 0.8 so definitely 0 0.8 is greater so you should write as 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.4 so that is your result now coming to the O part that is 1.2 having cube 1.2 cube so both are equal so you can you can say it seem to be both are equal 1.2 power 3 1.2 power 3 so you should put a equality sign so no need to simplify it because both are equal so you should put a sign now coming to the mm, p part that is 0 0.8 under root uh, is equal to 3 under root 0 0.8 so what does it mean it means uh, 0 0.8 having power 1 by 3 and here uh, 0 0.8 power having 1 by 2 because under root is equal to 1 by 2 here 1 by 3 so it should be noted that if you simplify it so for 1 by 3 0 0.8 having power 1 by 3 if you go further simply the simplification you will get 0 0.2 power 3 3 3 will be cancelled and here 0 0.2 power 3 here you will get 3 by 2 so it means 3 divided by 2 it is a lesser quantity so you can say that uh, here 1 by 3 3 is greater so it means it is always right as uh, that is 0 0.8 having power 1 by 3 is greater than 0 0.8 having power 1 by 2 so you should write a sign like this so uh, here we have completed exercise uh, 7i I hope that uh, it will be helpful to you so uh, uh, so thanks a lot thank you for watching